Hello, this is the Han Informer, and today I'm giving my 13th volume of Silicon Mask Weekly. Here is Baron Overbiden. He is the newest vampire from CFX Masks. And I think this is a well done mask, and there's lots of really good vein work on it as well. Here is the profile, and you can see those pointy ears and those teeth sticking out, and you can see the great detail on the vertebrae on the neck. The great vein work continues on the back of the mask, and here is a closer look at those pointy, detailed ears. Here is Baron Overbite in the translucent variant with blood. So he has just drank the blood of a whole bunch of people, so his whole mouth is covered in blood and it's dripping down on his chest. And this is the back of the mask. It looks really weird because it's the translucent variant. And this is a close-up of the blood on the mouth, so you can see he definitely killed a lot of people. And here is the profile of the mask, which is still impressive. Here is an eye-catching mask, Igor, and this is a rockabilly slash punk style mask. And this version has a blue iris. You can have it customized to whatever color you'd like. And inside of that iris is a screen. And you see through that screen, and that's how they achieve the effect of an eye. All the features on this mask are cartoony and over-exaggerated on purpose, and I really enjoy that. It is a lot of fun. Here is all the nasty details on the back of the eye with all that veining. This is the bloody variant of Igor, so there's lots of blood on him, so it is a bloodbath. And here is the profile with the blood on it, and you can see it is speckled on. And here is another look at that gory detail on the veining of the eye. Here is the Vaporwave UV variant of Igor, and I think this looks really cool, and this is how it looks under the black lights, and this will work perfectly in any scene in a UV haunt, where there are eyes painted on the walls and on the floor. So your customers are wearing those 3D glasses and seeing those eyes popping out on the walls with those 3D effects. That is really disorienting already, and then they see an actor jump out them wearing this mask. That would be so cool. And I would really enjoy that if I saw that in a UV haunt. You could also use this mask in a funhouse style area of your haunt. So the whole rest of your haunt could be gothic and grungy and dank. And then you could break that up with a fun UV room where you use this mask for the scare. And you could go right back to the darkness. That was the Haunt Informer. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I put up a new video. And I am on social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below. What was your favorite mask in this video? And as always, happy hauntings.